and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. My name is Rosemary Orchard and today's tip is all about Dropbox Paper. Dropbox Paper is a document and collaboration service from the folks behind Dropbox and in fact it's integrated directly into Dropbox itself. As well as being able to create documents you can also do project planning, some task management and of course you can collaborate on your documents with other people just like you could with Google Drive. So I'm going to start on the Dropbox Paper website. So here I've got Safari and the first thing I'm going to do is go to the website. That's at dropbox.com slash paper. Here we have a brief overview of Dropbox Paper and we have a link to go ahead and create a new paper doc. Now the first time that we open this up, it gives us a few helpful hints. First of all, we can share a Dropbox paper file by copying the URL from our browser and anybody with this URL is then able to edit this. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and change these settings here, but I'll come back to that later. Next, we have a brief overview. I'll just scroll that back to the beginning. This demonstrates how we can capture ideas, plan our next steps, capture our moments and get everybody on the same page. There's also a tutorial video that you can watch I'm just going to go ahead and hit get started. Now here we are inside my paper doc and yes this is created by Dropbox as my very first sample. It even has an emoji at the beginning showing us just how friendly this service is. Here on the right hand side we have some more helpful hints. Being able to do things like type a colon and then start typing the name of an emoji to insert an emoji picker. So I can go ahead and type colon rock to select rocket. I can also insert live links to photos and videos using Add Media, and there are some extra tools to work together. Each of these tips allows you to scroll through it to give you a little bit more information. But I'm going to go ahead and just close Discover More for now. Here at the bottom in the right hand corner, we have a question mark surrounded by a circle. This button allows us to both jump back to those tips and tricks and also to control dark mode. I'm going to turn this back to light mode. These tips and tricks reopens that menu and we can also give feedback or even change our language. Here we also have the option of keyboard shortcuts and these use the same default keyboard shortcuts that we would expect to use in any document editor on our Mac or even our iPad with command B for bold, I for italic, U for underline and so on. But if we scroll down a little bit more then we have some extra options. Some of these are related to collaboration. I'm gonna come back to these in a minute because I want to, to start with, create a great document. I'll just click on this close right here and I'm going to use Command A to select everything and then delete. Here we can see we have a helpful prompt. Give me a name. Screencast online tip. Now I have to write something brilliant. But if I'm not ready to write something, or maybe I don't want to write something first and instead I want to insert an image, then I can go ahead and use this menu at the bottom. I have the option to add images, add media, insert a Dropbox file, create a table, create a timeline, create a to-do, add a bulleted list, add a numbered list, or even add a section break or some code. I have some lorem ipsum text here on my clipboard, so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that in. Here we are with some fabulous lorem ipsum, and I can go ahead and double click on a word and then use command B to make something bold. Or if I want to make something italic, then I can use command I as you would expect. Then you can actually just select a word and wait and you will get something similar pop up. This shows us a few quick options for bold, strike through, highlighting, creating links, and converting things into headers as well as lists. But next up over here, we also have the option to add a comment, which we can do with command opt A. This allows me to go through and comment on a word, a paragraph, or even a section of the document. So say for example, I think that this should actually be et, then I can go ahead and make a note to that effect. Should this be et? That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. 
Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.